Alrighty, and we are back. Look what we found. We found some lava, some gold, some uh, lava. Um, there's nothing in here to mess with us. Unfortunately, this does not stop the lava. Or, like, Turn the lava into obsidian kind of thing. It's just one of these unfortunate event things that's gonna happen. Um, we have been finding a lot of obsidian, or not obsidian, but uh, silver. Uh, that's actually probably more than what we had to begin with. We did just find some new ore, lapis. Wow, there's a lot of gold and redstone down here. Wish I brought a water bucket. I meant to be fair, I didn't even have redstone. Oh, our first diamonds. Congratulations. Don't accidentally let go shift. All right, kind of curious to see how many it is. Mm. The sizzle. All right, it's not completely terrible. Looks like we got five. Five it is, cool, we got five diamonds. Not a bad start, not a bad start. Okay, and then, of course we got some like redstone stuff over here. Grab real quick. I think redstone's the only thing that comes from redstone ore. That's my thought anyway. Yeah, can't really do anything about it or with it other than that. This lava is just a popping. Ooh. Look at there. Wow, that, that's a lot. That's a lot of emerald. It almost feels like a trap sitting on top of all that gravel. Ooh. It's that terrifying. Especially this close to the lava. I mean. I've seen, I've played pretty spooky games, but like, never that spooky. Ooh. All right, okay. Um, if anything, I definitely want some, a few buckets, but we don't actually have the buckets on us. So we're probably gonna actually have to put some stuff down here, set up like some furnaces, cook up some iron. Yeah. Just Quick and easy things to do, kind of. All right, so while we wait for that, um, we're gonna go ahead and I guess look around a little bit more. And probably collect some more iron. No, this isn't iron. This should be a pretty decent run once we get some lava and stuff. I don't think I can make a tank out of here. Nope, that's a tank. There's a tank. Uh, there are some portable buckets, but... No, portable tank. Man, I really don't know where anything is, but I don't have the glass on me. So, that's a little under the question. Don't need the antisite. All right, when we come back, we are going to probably actually find something. I might find something interesting. Or when we come back, I'll be at my base, get some lava and stuff. Cause it's gonna be something nice. All right, see you guys in a few. I did it before. All right, and we're back. Not bad. Uh, I went ahead and made the evaporator thing real quick. Uh, I think we're safe to put it down here. I hope so. I think that's all I needed to do. You just put lava in it and it makes it over time. Oh, there it is. Cool. 
Just got a little inventory. Nice. All right. So from all this, we can just pretty much clean this up. Um, we did get some diamonds, which is nice. Um, we don't have any obsidian so far, which is kind of an issue. But we were planning to use an igneous extruder to do that. Which we have plenty of ore right now. So I would absolutely adore getting a pulverizer and the, what is it, steam dynamo? Uh, first, I definitely want to start off with the steam dynamo. Dynamo. Yes, words. So we got that. We have that. We could almost make these very, very soon. Um, but first things first, we need to get power for it. So let's go ahead and grab our copper out and a silver. I'm going to be super, super careful with um, our silver. I'm definitely want to order double that since we have very few. Definitely something I haven't used in quite a while. Our redstone is in one of those chests. There it is. I have 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 just placed the things down quickly. It's nothing too major. At least I can move them again. All right, so we have the steam dynamo. So we're off to a wonderful start. I'd like to get a pump of some sort or a sink. Uh, might go with a sink. I'm gonna make some clay or terracotta for it. See, we need pulverizer next, uh, which we're missing everything for. We can go ahead and make gears real quick. Here's the two gears. We need a piece of gold this time. So we'll maybe be careful with the gold. Um, what else do we need? I assume we need, yep, a tin gear. And probably quite a bit of iron. There's the tin glass, which we got, which luckily we cooked up a bunch to begin with. Well, that was uh, maybe, may or may not have been planned in the future. I don't know. Need some gold. That's done, perfect. Go ahead and throw this all together real quick. What else do we need? Some a piston and some flint. All right, I do have iron. I think I need the flint. Um, a one piece of wood short. There we go. And pulverizer. Three, two, one. There it is. Beautiful. All right, we got our, ourselves a pulverizer, a furnace, so or no, steam dynamo. So make that real easily. I can make some leadstone pipe to go with this, which is going to require two. Um, or I could just go cheap and place it on it real quick. which I'm honestly gonna do real quick. All right, um, and then this thing just needs water and fuel. Which is gonna take about two trips to get the water that we need to more or less have enough at that source. Or I could just do a sink real quick. Never have to worry about it again. Yeah, which is actually kind of tempting, not gonna lie. Um, let's see, what do we need for a sink? Let's see, terracotta, iron, and a bucket. Which we have the uh, bucket so far. Was it five pieces of terracotta, which is gonna be five times four, which is 20, so we'll need 20 clay. Convert that into clay. Lay blocks, go ahead and cook that up. Just use a piece of coal. I'm not too worried about this one. I will be using a lot more coal. So unfortunately, it's not gonna be as good. Terracotta. I did want to plant this cactus at some point. All right, what else do we need? We have the iron on us. We have everything else that it 
more or less ready. Just need the two pieces to cook and then we'll be set and ready to go. All right, there's our sink. Um, I think I could just put it up here and is it not able to actually pull? Uh, all right, so we need something Need something to help it pull. I guess I could do like a servo. Actually, there's a couple of things I need to make. Um, since it's water, it doesn't actually need to be hot. So copper and lead. I don't have clear glass, so it's just gonna be two pieces of copper and one lead. Um, where in the world my lead is? A magnificent question that I have no idea the answer to. I'm pretty sure I had quite a bit of lead somewhere. Um, okay, so it looks like we don't have any lead. We didn't use it all up, did we? Well done. This is um, quite the pickle we've gotten ourselves into without lead. Got an arrow for some reason. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to jump back over into the mining dimension real quick and get some lead. So I'd love to upgrade some of these chests and stuff. All right, I th think what I might do for right now is actually just go ahead and start using. I'll just unfortunately use up a little bit of my coal to get another bucket kind of thing. So I need a few more pieces of iron. So I'll make the bucket real quick. We have an infinite source here, so I'll just more or less push it into there, or just dump it in here. Let me cook it from there. All right. Unless there is a type of pipe that can move fluid that isn't gonna cost us but anything. I don't think there is. Because I think the only ones that will really allow me is thermal dynamics and Ender IO. There might be another one in here. Most of it's for other stuff like Galacticraft. So we're probably gonna have to use the servos and pipes. That's all right. For right now, we'll just use a bucket. Oh, look, there's the bucket was still sitting in here. Cool. We didn't actually have to do that. I'll fill it up with water. Go ahead and put a piece of coal in here. That'll get us some iron. Well, some stuff for the iron. I'll put this over here. Not actually necessary. Go ahead and make another. Oh, look, there's our lead. Cool. Um, yeah, first things first. I want to get that going. Have it make more fuel or power for me. Next, I want a furnace. So something I thought of is if I just put some chest up there, put two chests up there, I could put my ores chest and my, I guess, ingots chest. I just move them around as need be. This is also going to get us more silver. Yeah, I don't actually want that to cook. We're gonna produce too much. We do that. So yeah. Super nice. Alrighty. We just have a bunch of random food on us. Now we can remove. I really did just drop a bunch of random stuff in here. Not a smooth mark smart move at all um i do i really really do want to start pulverizing some iron after this we have so much iron it's actually getting pretty bad that's another thing i need to do is get like a redstone block thing or power cell 
What is it called? Some type of cell. Energy cell? I guess that's it. Alright, we have the pulverizer, we just need those. Igneous extruder. Which is gonna be lead, iron, glass. Ooh, electrum. That's silver and gold. Well, I know where some gold's at. Yeah, I should have let that drain a little bit more. That's all right. We could throw some sticks in there. All right. See what we can do for energy transfer. I know. I just save. There they are. All right. Now we got some leadstone pipes. We go ahead and uh, start working towards making one of these. Unfortunately, we do not have enough redstone for any more crafting. All right, that's done. Go ahead and throw our gold in here next. And we already have some silver, so Electrum's going to actually be super easy to get. don't know if they need to upgrade or not, but one of the things I could do is go ahead and put a hopper over here. So I think what I'm actually, what I'm going to do for behind it and power is just some little conduits right here. More or less just have them feed off to the right. I don't have a hopper item here. Energy cell sit here. Oh, it's not like I need to see it all the time kind of thing. But pretty simple stuff. Uh, what did... Oh, I need electrum. All right. So I'll uh, throw another piece of coal in here real quick. Get that cooking back up again. Go ahead and make some electrum real quick. I don't really feel like putting a piece of coal in there. Actually, fragment carbon. Yeah, so we more or less have little tiny pieces of coal that we could use, rather. Wait, nope. I almost just made that use more than it needed to. There we go. Yeah, it's also going to go to cinnabar. All right, now we got the Electrum. So now we can go ahead and make the little photogenic, I guess. Nope, just the coil. I just need, missing a few little things here and there. I have the glass. I think I'm missing the iron now. Um, it's funny and awkward at the same time. That will make that. And energy cell is energy cell. Go ahead and throw that there. Right, that's a none. I think blue's input. We'll input the top and output the bottom. And then I can throw, no, I cannot throw a stick in there. Hmm. All right, we're gonna put this here, rotate it. Okay, is the water full? No, it's not. Okay, I was wrong. Oh no, I didn't actually set it to the right thing. There we go. So that should keep it nice and full. And this is gonna start getting an overflow. For, yep, there it goes. Should last for a long, long time. I do think this is a good wrapping up point. We got ourselves a nice little steam diamond ammo feeding into a pulverizer. It is really cramped in here. I'd love to find an actual base or something like that to place everything before we get too dedicated here. Yeah, we got gold and stuff going. I do want to get a redstone furnace for long. I actually might be able to make it now if I have a chance. I doubt it. All right, next time, next episode, 
we're going to go ahead and try to make the uh, redstone furnace. So see you guys in the next episode.